Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Administrative Features and Tools, Part 1. Today we're going to discuss quite a few administrative tools and features, and there's a lot here, so let's go ahead and begin this session. We're going to begin by talking about the Computer Management Console. The console has a lot of useful features in it, and it's used to assist in the administrative function of a computer. The console is available through the control panel and the administrative tools icon. Then you select computer management to open up the console. Once you're there, you have access to system tools, storage tools, and service and application tools. Now let's talk about the device manager. There are different methods to gain access to it. From the start menu, you can right click on the computer and then select properties and select device manager. Or you could right click on computer and select manage. From the control panel you can select system and then select device manager. From a run box or search box you could type in device manager. Or from the computer management console under the heading of system tools that also will get you to device manager. Now the device manager allows the administrator to quickly determine the status of hardware and firmware. The administrator can update hardware drivers from here really easily. And it can also help to resolve uh, mysterious hardware issues. If you have a piece of hardware that's not operating as expected, check the device manager. Now let's discuss users and groups. Users are the profiles of people who are allowed to utilize the system. These profiles are used for authentication. That's proof of who the person is through the use of usernames and passwords. They can also be used for authorization, what that person is allowed to do, in non-domain situations. Now, users can be placed into groups, and a user must belong to at least one group. Now let's talk about groups. Groups use the concept of least privilege. And what that means is that groups are only assigned privileges based on what is necessary to get the job done. No extra privileges are granted. Groups are assigned those privileges by the administrator. Now Windows does come with many different default groups that can be modified or you can create your own group. Now in order for the users and groups function to be available, the operating system must have the ability to join domains. Now let's move on to security policy, performance monitor, and services. We'll begin with local security policy. This gives you granular control of security privileges. The applet includes many settings that are used to secure the local computer. Some settings are only available from this applet, and it is available through the control panel or through secpol.msc. Now let's discuss Performance Monitor. It quickly evaluates overall system performance. The user can establish which parameters to monitor. And it can be viewed in real time or reports can be logged which can then be viewed in Event Viewer. Now let's talk about services. PCs utilize services constantly. From this panel or this applet, users can modify the operation and behavior of services. You can shut them down, you can start them, so on and so forth. Now let's talk about Task Scheduler. This allows the user to schedule tasks to occur when certain conditions are met. There are many different triggers that can be used to schedule a task. And once that criteria is met, the task happens. Component services allow the user to make adjustments to COM objects. It's available in Windows XP and 7 from administrative tools, but if you're using Vista, then you need to add it as a snap-in into the Microsoft Management Console. Data sources connect an application to a database. As a rule, if an application needs to connect to a database, it does so automatically, but not all applications are created equally and need some assistance. That occurs from here. The print management applet is used to manage and control the behavior of printers and their drivers. It's often 
a great applet to use to manage network printers. Do you suspect that your PC has a memory problem, a RAM problem? Well, RAM doesn't go bad often, but when it does, it can be difficult to diagnose. That is where Windows Memory Diagnostic comes into play. This tool is used to diagnose the issue, and the report can be seen in the event viewer. Windows Firewall is a powerful personal firewall that's built into all Windows operating systems from Windows XP and newer. The object of the firewall is to control traffic into and out of a PC in an attempt to prevent malicious code from running. Now from Windows Vista onward, there was Windows Firewall with advanced security. The firewall is made more powerful and allows for more granular control of the firewall. Now that concludes this session on administrative features and tools. Your brain's probably pretty full, so we should conclude it here. On behalf of Pace IT, thank you for attending, and I'm sure we will do some more.